fearing the wrath of the hungry audience, I think I should wrap up in two, three minutes. I would straight go to the last challenge part of my presentation because uh, most of it is a repetitive thing. Why I am coming to this slide is because I have seen uh, in Dehradun Smart City also and elsewhere also that since ICT is just an enabler and we have many departments working on ICT fields and doing things on, in silos. So the main challenge is to how to act as a glue, how to mix, because see in Uttarakhand like we'll have a, a Dehradun one app, we'll have, we are still having e-district app, we are having many other citizen centric apps. So how to combine all those things because a citizen would be confused. A citizen sitting in IT park or somewhere around a Dehradun city, which he may or may not be knowing whether it is in the smart city purview or not, would be a little confused. So that, that is the biggest challenge and which I think ICT can do. So that is something which is a challenge is still can be solved by uh, us. The second challenge which I think is the fast changing innovative solutions. And this is something which is very fearful also. Because the Moore's law said that every one, one and a half year, the technology, the computation speed doubles. So every technology changes in a year or so. So by the time you finish your ICT implementation or smart city implementation, the technology changes. And you are in a soup. So whether we have decided the right thing or not, and you will still wonder that Maybe somebody will ask you why you did this with the old technology when the new technology was available. So these are the some challenges which I think uh, we are addressing. In fact, uh, as earlier also I've seen uh, in Dehradun, we had two megapixel camera all over the city. And uh, in Dehradun smart city also, we were thinking of having two megapixel, which we thought would not be a good idea because I am seeing and we all are seeing that in in Dehradun also, I have lots of examples in which the two megapixel cameras were not as useful in detecting crime in the night scenarios. So this is a challenge. In fact, rather I would like to stress on uh, maybe some other time because uh, this is something which I think would be more technical to discuss here. And energy consumption, obviously, because smart city how energy, it would be consuming more energy rather than it should stress on creating energy at the same time. So that is also a challenge which we should look for. And ICT can certainly help in, in the way how your utilization of energy can be geared by the AI tools and how it can be connected with your power supply so uh, it can be optimized. Third is uh, citizens. Obviously, citizen, the biggest challenge because many of us are very technological savvy and many of us actually technologically challenged. So how to develop an app or a system by which both the categories can be catered. Uh, apathy of government official is certainly the biggest challenge which is there. In fact, <clears throat> when we started CCTNS in police, at that point of time, only railways had conducted this whole countrywide ICT involvement in ticketing. So, and I had seen what the apathy was at that point of time because obviously it gives a sense of transparency also. So there are many negatives to it. Ki how, how, to, how to chuck it off, how to just say no to such things. So these things also should be taken care of. Ki how, to, how you can make people, even those who are technologically challenged, to adopt to technology and to start using uh, those benefits which you are actually giving through the smart city concept. And privacy and uh, cyber attacks, I think, are the biggest challenge at the end, which should be taken, which should not be taken uh, lightly, because maybe today we don't have our data privacy law, tomorrow we'll certainly have our data privacy law. And cyber attacks, similarly, the way the DDoS is happening everywhere, and the identity thefts are going on by the e-commerce uh, uh, arena. So we have to take care of these things also. Thank you.